So if you guys remember, I had this master clue in my bank for which I was getting 77 rune crafting. And after I did get it, I completed the step and then completed another one. And I actually got another obstacle, which was to give follow the bard a green man's ale mature. So now I do actually have that. I have actually eight of those now because I brewed them myself. And Wiki for some reason said that it's not actually 100% to get mature. But however, I got all eight of them matured, which is kind of weird. But anyways, now we should be able to move further with this clue. I don't know. It's probably not the last step. I have no idea what is the minimum step amount for a master clue. But, you know, let's try to finish off and start the episode with, you know, the completion of this clue at last. Okay, wow, this was the last step. Oh my god. My first master clue on the Iron Man, guys. Drum roll, please. Oh my god, you are kidding me! First master clue, 4 million! Dragon defender ornament kit as well. I can actually use it on this! I am the luckiest Iron Man, I swear to god. I am the luckiest fucking Iron Man on this game. It's actually ridiculous. Holy shit, the luck actually continues! All I need now is the frame and I will have full ballista. ballista. Can I please get that before my last Zenite? Dude, I honestly cannot believe my luck. Wow, okay. You can st it's this is like free kill two kills apart. <laughs> back to back almost ballista springs. Okay, never mind. Uh it doesn't matter. So all I need now is a Frame and a Zenite chart and we are never coming back to this place, like, ever. Okay guys, so small detour before we go back to Gorillas. I still have somewhat 80 left, I think. Oh, 66, not a bad number to, you know, to have. But anyways, let's just do it. And there we go. Another 99 coming in, you guys. Level 99 strength this time. This is pretty nice, right? So number four, I believe, right after HP as well, the last episode. So yeah, melee skills, I guess, should be coming in pretty often now, I guess. You know, it won't take too long to get attack and defense to 99 while I am actually focusing, you know, on a certain skill instead of just training shared. And for how long did I have 98 strength? Like... Not even 98, like, I just kept it for so long since, like, for, you know, at the same level since I got 96, because there was honestly just no reason for me to get 99, but other than that, pretty nice. Once again, not really sure what the skill cape perk does, so I'm not gonna purchase the skill cape, at least not for now, and I will purchase it in case I, you know, uh, whenever I actually build that thing in my POH so I can store it in here, but other than that... Let's go ahead and finish off the remaining gorillas in hopes of, you know, you know how crazy it would be if I could actually manage to complete gorillas before I finish this task. That would be freaking crazy, wouldn't it? What the hell? Another one. Or did I get a sword before that? I'm not sure. Let's pick it up to see how it looks, but... Okay, yeah, that's the same thing. So that's like second one in... Like, that's two in two tasks, I think. Okay, then, even though, sadly, it's completely useless. Anyways, I had this hard clue from Gorilla Test. Completely forgot that I had it, so let's see. Oh, good I forgot about it because it's complete garbage. Well, crap, that's what happens when you watch too many YouTube videos while playing RS, I guess, because, as you guys can see in the chat, I just missed a level 93 attack. As I did mention previously, I... You know, these remaining melee levels, like the attack and defense is what I mean, will be coming a lot more quicker, I guess I should say, since, you know, I can actually focus on either of them instead of just playing, you know, shared. So, uh, yeah, other than that, re just training Slayer for no real reason, because I can't really decide what to do right now, so I'm kind of in a situation where I can't decide at the moment, but I guess it will pass, so... For the time being, let's just continue doing up some Slayer in hopes of, you know, maybe getting like a, a Smoke Devil task because I still have to get that Occult Necklace, of course, so, you know, that would be nice, I guess. 
Ah, oh, that's just what I needed, a boss task. Let's go kill some King Black Dragon. Well, this is funny, so I am doing my King Black Dragon task, as you guys can see, and I just got the same exact drop four times in a row. You logs, you logs, you logs, you logs. Like, as you guys can see in my inventory, four Dragon Bones, 600 you logs. I kind of thought this is funny. To make it even more weird, fifth drop is the same drop. What the actual fuck? I mean, I know it's nothing, but it's so weird to get the exact same drop five times in a row from the boss. Man, this is weird. What is happening? You know, it really sucks because I kind of enjoyed this task because it's, you know, just plain and simple. You just AFK and whatnot, but it ruins it every time because I lose kills because of fucking assholes just coming in and tagging it for no reason at all and every task I lose like from 5 to 10 kills this task in specific I lost 8 fucking kills which is kind of depressing but anyway it's got 3 more karambans so I guess I can do 1 or 2 more kills so let's finish them off and we will get ourselves a new task man I wish I had an efficient way to do workout already but yeah I guess Regular blue dragons will do for now. Ah yes, ask and you shall receive 162 smoke devils. And I see no reason for me not to do the boss, so I guess it's time to go and kill 162 thermonuclear smoke devils. Still can't, you know, get my head around the name of that boss, but whatever. Uh, let's get a cult necklace. Hopefully. Oh my god, no fucking way. Look at the chat, boys. The luck continues. Oh my, I, I honestly cannot believe this. Smoke battle staff at 23 KC. That is definitely rarer than a cult necklace, isn't it? Man, just like this account's luck is just fucking insane. Honestly, when does it stop? I really hope no one's gonna... No, I don't think it actually, you know, spawns quick enough for someone to pick it up. But yeah, holy crap, guys. Oh my god, this is amazing. Smoke battle staff on the Iron Man. Oh my god. <laughs> I love my account, man. I, I swear to god. Anyways, still 140 of these things to go. So I guess if I could, you know, somehow get a occult necklace, I will be done with this boss. Cause, well, I mean, it, I, well, actually not. I'm probably going to, you know, do this boss until I get the pet. Because honestly, it's like I'm losing nothing, you know, for doing this. So yeah, there's no reason for me to stop. Well, no fucking way. What, like 27 kills later, I get a dragon chain buddy. This is ridiculous, man. Like, what? I, I really should have checked the drop rates before I, you know, actually started the boss. So, yeah, I guess if I could get a cult necklace now, that would be pretty cool, right? Let's look at that thing. Where is it? Ah, doesn't it look nice on the ground? First dragon chain buddy on the Iron Man, man. <laughs> Feels pretty good to get it. I guess now I need to get the dragon lump or whatever so I can make myself a blade body to be able to fashion skip or whatever. And once again another level missed because of me watching YouTube. But oh well, I guess I just can't help it. But anyways, as you guys can see, I am still doing these stupid fucking Shamans, I must be somewhere around 3.8 kkc because I checked before I started this new trip and I was like at close to 3.6 kkc or whatever, but yeah, anyways, uh, since I got this level, I guess I could talk about it. I actually already used 20k audi darts in this, you know, on this grind, which is kind of insane, assuming I only had like 37 or 34k darts, you know, in the end after, you know, I smith all my uh, Addy darts. So it's kind of worrying because honestly, if I ran out of the 50, honestly, the remaining darts that I have are now in my blowpipe. Yeah, so 15.3k darts left. And after I run out of these, I guess I'll have to use Mithril darts if I don't get the Warhammer in, you know, in this amount. But yeah, honestly, I'm not even on the drop rate yet, but I fucking hate this grind so much and anyone 
who did this, I guess, you know, they know where I'm coming from, but I'm not quitting. Don't get me wrong. I'm not leaving this place until I actually do get this hammer. But for now, let's continue doing this. And I'm just wondering at this point, what will happen first, either 99 range or Dragon Warhammer? Let me know what do you guys think in the comments. So there goes the first smoke devil task completed sadly no occult necklace but we honestly cannot complain since as you guys know we got a dragon chain buddy as well as a smoke battle stop from our first task not to mention we got both in first 50 kc so that's pretty good right there alone but now let's go ahead and grab ourselves a new task and go back to shamans because it's a new day and you know the time is right to do them Let's see what the new task is first. Okay, lovely. King Black Dragon. That will be a task for later. Okay, wrapped up another day of Lizardmen Shamans and ended up getting this hard clue. Ooh. Second master clue, right? I Yeah, this is like the first clue after I opened that, you know, master clue, up, I think, at the start of this episode. So... Yeah, let's see if we can do this stuff, first of all. Dancing. And I instantly can't fucking do it. Fuck. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god, you guys. There is no way. 165 KC, we got a dragon pickaxe. And I was, you know, getting worried that, you know what? Why do I only need to do... King Black Dragon, maybe I should go try out some Retion or some shit. Uh, I guess that doesn't matter now, right? Oh my god, I'm so happy. I honestly cannot believe this. 165 KC for Dragon Pickaxe. This is fucking amazing. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Are you fucking serious? I was waiting for this drop so long! Oh my god, what is happening? I just got the dragon pickaxe as well, like, half an hour ago! Oh my... <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! Oh my god, no way! I saw like so many messages and I saw purple text, I was like, what the fuck? Oh my god, man! Oh my god, how crazy it would have been if I would have, you know, acted accidentally, but holy shit, 20 mil as well, the value, like, I am on the, uh, I am speechless, why, oh man, if I could get the Dragon Warhammer soon enough, I would be the luckiest Iron Man alive, even though I am already, like, extremely fucking lucky, but, like, Holy shit, this is crazy. Oh my god. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Was it enjoyable? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, I didn't want to leave you guys like with that blank. Oh my god, at the end of the video. So I figured I would make a quick outro right now. But um, yeah, honestly, the luckiest episode I've be you know, I've got so far in the... What, 68 I believe this episode is the number of it so yeah I'm I'm honestly speechless I completely forgot to mention what I got it but now that I have the dragon pickaxe as well I only need the dragon warhammer or bandos godsword that is but I am of course winding the dragon warhammer so after I do get it I have everything I need for raid so probably when I end up getting the hammer I will start doing raids and other content like Godwars of course because I will have the Dragon Warhammer that's that's the only reason why I haven't done Bandos yet because I want the hammer because it's a lot better I guess to do it with it, to do it with it but yeah anyway so uh, uh, yeah I hope I didn't make you guys go deaf with these reactions but like the imbued heart reaction honestly like it just it just broke me because honestly i when i got the neck reels task i was like ah oh, i don't know if i can be bothered training slayer maybe i i wanted to go afk something so bad but then i was like ah oh, i still need imbued heart whatever i'll go do it and 
I was killing it, you know, I turned the recorder off before I finished killing the sup uh, superior one and I always, you know, kill it, uh, turn on my recorder before I finish uh, killing it so in case, you know, something happens and thankfully this time it did happen, I couldn't be happier about it but other than that, uh, if you guys enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, I, I honestly never ask for likes so... You know, that would mean a lot if you guys could leave one. But other than that, I'm not sure what I will be doing in the next episode. Probably just more Dragon Warhammer grind. And the further I go, honestly, with the continuing RNG pretty much everywhere I go, the more I'm starting to believe that Dragon Warhammer might be the one item where I will go extremely dry at. And even though like I'm not even at the drop rate yet, I, uh, when I wrapped up today's you know trip, I checked the KC and I am exactly like just a few kills uh, above 4k. So I am at 4k Lizardman Shaman KC right now. So obviously the drop rate is 1 in 5k. So if we could get it somewhere around that, that would be fucking amazing if not i guess we will have to deal with it because as i just said i've been lucky everywhere else but there so yeah that is that i hope you guys enjoyed once again the episode i had a blast making this one so yeah let's hope that rng doesn't stop of course because i love it who wouldn't love it yeah so uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next episode as usual